Hey, I'm Shane. Welcome to our channel. If you'd like to have a look at the new mechanical shooting gallery that I designed, stick around. We'll help you get a handle on things. Now here's a project that's been sitting around my shop for way too long. I've been working on this one for about a year now. And what it is, is it's a mechanical shooting gallery complete with integral lead trap and it's designed for use with air guns, rim fire, and small caliber handguns. Let's have a look at it. This shooting gallery is primarily quarter inch mild steel construction. That's the entire outside case and the plates. Quarter inch mild steel plates is gonna limit the calibers that you can shoot at them. However, you can change the plates for something more robust if you like. You can also change the thickness of the front plate and the back deflection plate as well, and that would allow you to open this up for bigger calibers. But since we plan to use this for air guns and rim fire, quarter inch plate is gonna be plenty. Each of the target plates is mounted on quarter inch spring steel rod. It's wrapped around a pivot rod, and it interacts with a cam, which is on the drive shaft. The drive shaft is attached to a gear that we cut out on the plasma cutter, and it is attached to a 12 volt wiper motor. The wiper motor is connected to a speed control and a 12 volt battery mounted on the rear of the target. It's a pretty simple design. You could also replace the 12 volt battery with a 12 volt DC power supply to run the target. To turn the target on, you simply turn on the speed switch and let it run. The 12 volt DC wiper motor is a high torque, low speed motor and does a fine job for this project. As the targets are engaged, the spinning cam just resets them. I mounted the target plates on spring steel rod in case the target happens to be in contact with the cam at the time that it receives a shot. That way it'll just bounce. The way this shooting gallery is set up right now, one target resets at a time, but you can rearrange the cams so that you can reset two targets or even three targets at a time if that's your pleasure. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to have more information about how we built this thing, or maybe you'd like to build one of your own, post a comment down below. If I get enough interest, I'll see about making some build files available.